Guys, after successfully connecting your Linux machine, so the console will be like this. So I will show you the Linux commands practice. It's very easy. I will compare with the Windows operating system so you can easily relate to that. Because of these many days you are uh, practiced in the Windows, all of a sudden if you are moving to the Linux, you will not be understand that. So currently this putty console was showing like this. Okay. And currently in which location you have presented this console that you need to know. So example, in your Windows machine, if you open the file explorer, you can easily identify with the graphical user interface. Right now I'm in desktop. If you want to switch to download, I can easily click and I can watch here. Okay. So anywhere I can go directly. So I can clearly see which location I'm presently my console is available. So now in Linux also we have a command pwd print working directory or present working directory hit enter. So now I'm in forward slash this means root home directory under that ec2 hyphen user directory I'm currently located. Suppose I want to go back to the previous directory, home directory. So how can I go back? So the command is cd. cd stands for change directory space dot dot. cd space dot dot. If you hit enter, I'm going back to the home directory. You can see here, home directory. If you want that, you can please type pwd and you can check that. Currently, I'm in home directory. Again, you want to go back to the root directory same command cd space dot dot enter now you are in root directory here now can check that pwd i'm currently i'm in the root directory here so forward slash is nothing but root directory forward slash is nothing but root directory so in this root directory only all the linux directories are available okay so each directory has a a different different activity will get performed so going forward i will teach separately so what is a linux uh, root directory structure and each directory what is a responsibility i will explain in separate video so now we understand what is a pwd cd space dot dot so pwd is printing the working directory location cd space dot dot will be going to the previous directory Suppose you are currently in the forward slash, you want to go to the home directory. How can you go? So same command, cd space home and hit enter. cd space home, that means you are going to the home directory. Under the home directory, ec2 hyphen user is there. Again, go to cd space ec2 hyphen user. Now you are into the ec2 hyphen user now can type pwd now you are <coughs> change the directory to ec2 hyphen user now you want to clear the screen clear type clear in the lower cases everything is a lower cases no capital letters and hit enter the all commands are lower cases only small letters so now again pwd Again, I want to go back directly to the root directory. So there are two steps are there, right? I want to go directly to the root directory. So cd space forward slash. So forward slash is equals to root directory. Hit enter. Now directly you are moving to the root directory here. So now I can check the pwd. Now you are moving to root directory directly by using this command cd space forward slash. Suppose you want to come to the EC2 hyphen user directly. So type cd forward slash home directory EC2 hyphen user and hit enter. Now you're directly coming to okay EC2 hyphen user. You can give directly give the path after the cd. So cd space followed by that directly you can give the path. You can directly connect it to the directory here.
परफेक्ट suppose you want to check that what are the files and what are the directories in this particular location yes we can run the command ls <coughs> ls means list of directories there is no files or there is no directories in this location suppose if i'm going to the root directory if i type ls see how many directories and files are available so root is a main directory in linux operating system root is a main directory in the linux operating system clear screen again go back to the cd space home ec2 hyphen user guys i'm going to help you to install i'm going to help you to install okay some small software so web software okay i want to convert uh, i want to convert this linux server as a web server so linux web server name is tomcat tomcat okay so tomcat linux server i need to install how can you install first i need to download the software from internet okay linux software i need to download so that means tomcat software i need to download from internet go to google okay you can search like this go to google directly download tomcat okay 10.1.0 dot dot okay you will get this link open in a new window see here 10.1.17 dot dot is there so here we have tor.zip file is available okay tor.zip file is available okay is that clear so right click here and copy as a link address copy link address so tor.zip file you can copy as link address come to here type w get w get is a command for downloading any file from internet and just right click your mouse automatically this path will be coming here and hit enter now this file is downloaded this file is downloaded w get space give the path and hit enter this file is downloaded 11.91 mb file is downloaded you can type ls this zip file is downloaded so this zip file this zip file we need to unzip it we need to unzip the command is tar xvzf xvzf and this file you need to type here so we don't want to type just type a and hit tab okay just to type a and hit tab you will get this complete name and hit enter now the complete file was unzipped so now clear the screen and type ls see this directory was created so whatever the zip file is there it was unzipped and it is created a new directory so the next step is this particular zip file i want to remove it i want to remove i want to delete it rm space hyphen rf space this particular file you can select it with the mouse and come here and right click and hit enter now this file is deleted successfully you can check that ls now this file is deleted the zip file is deleted don't worry every step i'll give you okay every step i'll give you so you can watch and we can practice tomorrow don't worry today night you will get the recording notes everything you will get it so tomorrow you can practice now this particular folder name is very lengthy right i want to change it in a short name i want to change this folder name as a tomcat 
how can you change the name naming change is command is mv the old name you can select the current name you can select and you can give forward slash okay and give space what are the name you want to give we can give that tomcat so that means completely this name is moving to this name type ls and you can check this tomcat name was successfully created so this entire files is available in the tomcat only now what we need to do i need to log into this tomcat cd change directory tomcat and hit enter now connected to the tomcat directory now can check ls all the tomcat related files are available okay but if you want to run the tomcat java software is required because of tomcat is depending on the java so you can install the java software by using the command called sudo sudo means admin privileges sudo means admin privileges m m means yellow dog update manager y u m means yellow dog update manager so this is a pack package installer m is a package installer so now click select the install java okay space java okay and hit enter so now this particular file do you want to install press y and hit enter now the java is installing in this system so java is installing on this system it takes a minute time so please wait and clear the screen now in the system tomcat files are unzipped java is installed can we check the java version java space hyphen version so now java version 21.0.1 is installed perfectly next ls so this bin file the complete tomcat main files are located so now cd bin and hit enter now here type ls so there is a startup.sh file is there this is a startup.sh file is a main file okay startup.sh is a main file to start the server to start the server of tomcat so now you can type sh sh means shell startup startup.sh and hit enter see guys tomcat server is started tomcat server is started so how can you access this server how can you access this server so very pretty simple go to your browser your amazon ec2 console select your server go to security so here security group is there right under that your server security security group is there click on security group and inbound rule is there click on edit inbound rule okay click on add rule click on add rule so in this add rule in this add rule select the tcp ip and port number is 8080 port number is 8080 you can connect from anywhere you can select so that means tomcat server is running on the port number 8080 and you can connect from anywhere means because of your connecting from your internet save it now successfully port is configured now come back to the ec2 console go to the instances select your server copy the ip address and go to new tab on your browser paste that ip address followed by colon 8080 and hit enter now your tomcat web server is ready so that means your website is ready is a default web page is ready so this page you can access it from anywhere in the world anywhere in the world so now i am giving this link on the chat i am giving this link on the chat so can you please access from your browser either mobile or laptop or desktop and share your feedback whether this page is visible or not
Yes. I got a multiple responses. Thanks, Murli and Prasad. Okay. So the page is successfully working now. The page is successfully working. So that means website is we launched successfully. So don't worry. All the steps I will create. Okay. In the notes. Okay. I will publish in my blog and I will share with you. So today uh, before 11 o'clock like that. So you can access okay by tomorrow and you can practice and you can share your feedback okay thank you very much so and once you practice is done so this particular server you please select only the particular server go to the instance state stop the instance stop the instance means shut down the instance okay make sure you have to check that the instance is stopped or not before you leaving, you please check that the instance is stopped or not. Perfect. So now instance is successfully stopped. Thank you.